going on guys today we got a GE refrigerator that we're getting ready to install and when you get them new out of the box they all open up this direction meaning both doors freezer and refrigerator the hinges are always on the right and the handles will be on the left so they always open to the right and the apartment that this refrigerator needs to go in uh, I need the handles to be on the right side so it opens to the left so what we're going to do is we're going to switch the doors around here. We're going to put the hinges for the freezer and refrigerator door on our left side. So it opens up the opposite way before we take it down and install it. So we're going to go through the steps on how to do that. If you have a refrigerator that you need to open the opposite way. All right, you always want to start at the top and work your way down to the bottom here to Flip your doors. So we'll start right here with the hinge for the freezer door. Okay, we got both those out. Now we'll go ahead and lift this off. Set it over there. Now we're ready to pull our freezer door off. Okay, and just lift straight up. And we can set our door aside. Okay, now that our freezer door is off, we have access to the refrigerator door. And we're going to remove this pin right here. You can put a wrench on it, and this one here actually has a spot for a Phillips. So we're just going to back that out. It should just lift right out. And we'll set that aside. Tilt our door out, and we'll just lift it up off the bottom pin. Now this pin here just pulls out, set that aside, and we'll remove our three screws. Okay, it looks like on this bracket here, you don't have to take the top two out all the way. Just back them out a little bit and lift them up but in order to get it on the other side there's only one screw there so we would have to leave the one in anyway which that one there on the end we'll leave that one in we'll just back this one out a little bit get the screw started Grab our bracket. Okay, now we'll reinstall our pin, which is going to go on the outside. And we'll come up here to our hinge for the top of the refrigerator door. And I can see there's an opening on this one, so this screw doesn't have to come out all the way. We'll just back it out. But these two here have to come out all the way. So we can transfer it onto this side. So we'll just back this one out a little bit. And we'll remove these two completely. Okay, we'll pull our bracket off, and all we're going to do is flip it over like this to install it on the other side. But before we do that, I'm going to put these screws back in over here. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and tighten this up a little bit, try to hold it place with the screw holes lined up okay now we'll come back over to our door and on the bottom because this is the bottom I have it flipped up this bracket here we need to 
located on this side. So I'm just going to remove these two screws, lift this little piece off, and mount it here. And I'm going to do the same thing on the freezer door. This is the bottom of the freezer door. So I'm just going to take this one off and move it over here. So let me get those two brackets switched real quick and we'll be right back. Okay, I'll go ahead and put the bottom pin in first. Our holes on the end here. So we'll sit that in. Now before we drop the pin at the top, you can see this little insert here. That needs to come out. And we need to relocate that on this side. You can see it's just a little pin. Okay, you have the opening lined up the best you can so we can get this pin started. Okay, I'm going to turn the pin in by hand so nothing gets cross threaded. And now we'll snug it up with the drill. Okay. All right, our fresh food door is on. Now we'll do the freezer door. So we're gonna come back up top here first. And here's our hinge that we took off from over here come over here and we're going to remove these two screws all right we'll set those aside and we'll drive in the other two screws from the other side Okay, we've got our freezer door. Go ahead and drop it down. And grab our hinge, drop it down. And we want to line up our screw holes here. So obviously we're not going to use the ones from the other side. It's going to be a little different on this side. And also you want to make sure your door is level. Because right now the right side is sagging down. So it's got to be lifted up slightly, and while it's lifted, our hinge will turn in the direction that we need it to go. So let me uh, get this door level and get the screw started here. Okay, I got uh, both screws just started. It's the two opposite holes that it was on the other side. All right, our hinge is on good. Here's the fridge. And used to open on the left side, now opens up on the right. Okay, I'll show you how these uh, shelves go in. It's pretty slick. They're uh, a new style on these GEs. But I'm not going to keep um, all the shelving and the handles on just because I need to transport it. But I'll just go over that with you. Just take your shelf in, go past the rails on the sides let it drop down and then pull it out towards you that's it that's simple and then I'll show you the handles which they're both the same whether it's for the freezer or the refrigerator compartment start off with these screws that look like this it has this uh, large piece on there just go ahead and drive it right in here okay now that we have our piece mounted to the refrigerator which is right here this handle on the back side you can see it's larger right here that slides down over that and when you push it down it slides up and locks it in so how this would go on we would just kind of line everything up with that piece right there on the fridge And then you would run your two screws in right here. And that's on. And same exact for the top. The handle up here is the same exact thing. 
Same way. In order to pull it off, just swing it out past the fridge and then pull it, slide it off the rail. But like I said, I'm not going to mount the handles or the shelves or anything. I'm going to pull that one back out so I can transport it. So, all right. Well, that's how you flip the doors on a GE refrigerator with the top mount freezer. Pretty simple. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.